Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Um, you're in a different position, you're currently in a cupboard in the kitchen. <laughs> Just so that you're on my height. But basically, I'm going to do a nighttime routine. So, that is what we're doing right now. Um, I've been off this week work-wise and I'm still off like until next Friday for you guys. Yeah, it's going up this Sunday for me filming it. So I'm still off till next Friday. So we have a chilled nighttime routine. I always start getting ready for bed about nine ish. It's currently quarter past nine. I'm a bit later because I was finishing off a brew. So yeah, so I thought I will film it and yeah. So that is what we're doing. So the first thing that I do is put the kettle on to boil because I always take a brew to bed because I don't go straight to sleep and I always go for a decaf brew because I won't get to sleep it's caffeinated. I, I blurred. I honestly can't decide. Um, but yeah, my head will not switch off if I go for a caffeinated brew at this time of night. So we're going to switch the kettle on and get that brew in and whilst that's brewing I'm going to go wash my face because yeah. Uh, yeah, I should have water, that will do. So we'll switch the kettle on. As you can see, now, I'm just gonna turn that off whilst it's doing its thing. Now we're gonna go into the bathroom and I'm gonna go wash my face and everything like that. I have to turn the light off for this because I have no windows in here, so it's always really dark. So no matter what, I have to turn the light on. Anyway. That's gonna boil for, oh well, oh well. Anyway, what we're gonna do first of all is I'm gonna get the trusty headband, like thinking about Minnie Mouse thing, which I'm pretty sure you saw in last, the last video. And put that on to get as much hair as possible out of my face. Now I've got makeup on today, so this is kind of a little makeup remover video face routine. Um, I'm going to take my contact lenses out first because I'll look this two of me. Yeah, I'm going to take my contact lenses out first because if you don't know, I wear contact lenses. And I like to do my face, like give my face a good wash, so I always take my contact lenses out. So look away if you look like me touching eyes. I can actually do it for you guys here. <laughs> That's all in there. I can't actually see now. So if you blurred, I've lost you. I'm just getting some contact lens solution out because I have monthly, so they have to get put in solution every day. I can make keep having to go really far in just to see if I'm not blurred because I'm blind. I'm making it out like I'm really bad. I'm only a minus three. That's not even that bad. You better shake and put that in here. Right, so we're going to go in with some Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish um, Cleanser, duh. <laughs> um, deeply cleanses and gently exfoliates for radiant clear on open skin. And we're going to pop that all over my face and rub it in and that's what gets my makeup off. Bish bash wash, a little cleanser. It works so much better than um, baby wipes and I prefer it to the micellar water which I will use sometimes. If basically if I come back after like a holiday or something and I've got makeup on or say like a night out because basically I have to um, heat my water up because I have electric an electric heater and stuff so everything's like electric electric in this flat um so if i forget to heat the water up and i go out for the night and i'm going back here i'll have to use my cellar water because the water's going to be cold for my face it won't be heated up and i just can't be doing with um cold washing of the face it's just not a vibe you know what i mean so, and plus it doesn't open up the pores properly for all the stuff that I've got on my face. 
I need to quit putting on, get the water to go warm. Anyway, this is what I look like currently. So, we're gonna get the water to go warm now. Get my little flannel, wet it, and then basically just wipe it off. A lot of people use cleanser and like cotton pads, but I hate the um, texture, texture of a wet cotton pad, or, I mean, sorry, a dry cotton pad to take it off. And yeah, so I just use a cloth. Plus, I can wash the cloth at any point. If I use a, um, what's it called? A cotton pad, I have to throw that away. It's not reusable. So that is all that off. So I'm just gonna rinse the cloth. Now we're gonna go in with the CeraVe, CeraVe, CeraVe blemish control cleanser and a little goes a long way with this so you literally just need one pump of it and we're just going to rub that into my skin oh my god right <laughs> so little story time the past few days i've been smelling this horrible smell right and i kept thinking i was worrying a little bit because i thought it was my flat smelling right and i had a flat inspection this morning um and I was a bit nervous because like I thought she was going to tell me like I wasn't looking after it because it smelled well I wasn't really that nervous because yeah but that's what I thought was going to happen and then my flat inspector was like oh your house smells really nice so I was like well it's not that and plus can't smell it at the moment it's been happening like the past few nights and tonight it stunk really really bad I thought it was just me I was like, I'm surely I'm going crazy. And then my sister texts me and we're going, I can smell really bad horse manure. And she literally was around the corner from me. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much for saying that. And it turns out it could be the farm that's nearer to us. Because a lot of people on Facebook have been moaning about it. So it made me feel so much better. I was like, I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> At least I know I've not got COVID anyway, because last time something happened, we had a forest fire and I tested positive for COVID literally the night before and I didn't even know we had a forest fire because I couldn't smell it because I lost my smell. It was only until my sister told me <laughs> and I was like, I guess I lost my smell. Funny. But yeah, anyway, I'm just washing this off with Aqua Law. And make sure that's on and then rinse it out. Now I'm just going to get a cloth and dab my face. I really need all these red bits on my face to heal before weekend. I'm, not, I'm literally blurred, aren't I? I don't know. But yeah, anyway, next we're going to go in with the CeraVe Blemish Control Gel. Um, and we're just going to rub that into the whole of my face. So I'll literally just put it on like this. And then we're going to rub it in. My face doesn't look that bad right here. And I've got it all over my chin and stuff. But it doesn't look like really that red. And then look into that viewfinder and it just like enhances the redness. Anyway, I'm going to rub it in. I really need these though to heal before weekend. It was just one of them. You know when you like, you smile and it just like cracks it open. Skin's like, I don't want to heal, I'm going to crack it open. Yeah, that's what it's like. It's so annoying. <laughs> and yeah, that is basically my skincare for the night. If I've got any like lumpy like redness, I'll put a spot, spot patch on it, but I don't actually have any lumpy rednesses today, which is good. And then I'm just going to put my glasses on. I keep my glasses in the bathroom because literally, which is a bad idea because I get water marks all over them. I'm going to have to clean them in a sec. Oh, don't need this one anymore. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to clean them because I've got marks all over them from more splashing. But that is my skincare routine done for the night. And now we're going to get the brew. It's getting a bit dark now. I don't want to put the light on because I'm scared of bugs coming in. Anyway, back to the cupboard we go. 
I'm gonna get some cleaner for this and just quickly redo the boil of the kettle. <laughs> Cause I've been on the side in the bathroom all day. All nice and clean now. Now I can see. Oh, I should have got, I left my, oh no, my cup's there. My cup's there, it's all good. So, we've got my cup. I need to decaf. I need to get some more of these. I have like caffeine in the morning to wake me up and then decaf at night time because I won't go to sleep otherwise. My brain will literally go blah, 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 and not go to sleep. So, yeah. Right, now we're gonna just close. Well, I'm actually gonna put these away because I washed them before and they need to get put away. Because it's really good that like, it's nice and warm because um, it dries my pots really fast. So that's all good. Chills. So, oh, I nearly smashed that cup. Good job it's not mine, it's just a guess. I'm just closing you in a second. Anybody else have like so many cups? Of like their own. I'm literally going to show you. You're all going to be so like, Sarah, what the heck? But these are literally all my cups, and I've got more up there. Do I use all of them? No. Do they all have memories? Yes. <laughs> and then I've literally got like these four cups just for for um, visitors and like my mom and my dad and my sister come round. Literally, they use them. Um, Anybody else like just hoard them? Like when I used to live at mum and dad's, my mum was always like, you've got too many cups. And I'm like, yeah, but every cup that I have holds a memory. Like this one, got it for my birthday. This one, got it for Christmas. This one, got it from one of my best mates for my birthday. This one, my mum's got a matching one, so it's a mum and daughter one. Got my 30th one here. Um, and then I'll just show you one more because I've got like so others, so many others. Little elf one was given to me at Dorothy Perkins before we all got made redundant and lost our jobs. That was at Christmas time. See what I mean? They've all got like memories to them. I just don't want to get rid of them. So I'd be shy if I did. This one's always my breakfast cup as well because it's like a thick mug and it holds the heat in yeah that's just a few of my mugs um right i need to close these windows now i've gone blurred again haven't i i might switch you to no i can't switch you to another color because you open the other way oh well i'm gonna close these oh, i'm little so i have to stretch um yeah and close the blind this is where I need to start like this is where all my brews like um brewing because I like a strong brew. Strong but milk it wait, I've left the key over here. Oh my god. So I'm gonna have to like balance you here just so you can see. I have to be careful with that blind because my plant gets caught in it so many times and it's so annoying. Anyway, next I need to bring these, the sunflowers in. Someone's out there. Do you know what? I probably, I look like I'm in a forest. I probably could leave them out, but I'm too worried because we keep forgetting storms at night time and like really bad winds and I just know it'll blow over and I literally have a Juliet balcony so it's not like it's an actual balcony that you can step out onto and I just know that it's going to fall down and land on like my neighbour's head or something and I will be like no sorry <laughs> so that is that I close the balcony doors and I put me sunflowers on them a little bin bag because I did just water them before as well so I don't want them to like 
soak the carpet. Now we're just gonna close that. Now we're really dark. Don't you worry, we're gonna put the light on. Right, now I can see. Now we're gonna go into my bedroom and do exactly the same thing, apart from I've not got sunflowers there. I'm just gonna close the balcony door. I swear I can hear voices, but no one's there. Bish, bash, bosh, done. Now, next, we're gonna lock the window in the hallway. We're gonna close that. There's literally nowhere I can put you here. That's literally a tiny, a tiny hallway. So we're gonna lock the window and close the blinds and put my little chainy thing on the door. Just make that all nice and secure. And then, what's next? Oh, we're gonna make a brew now. Oh no, wait, mm, yeah, actually I'll make a brew. But make me brew first, cause that'll be messed up now. Honestly, my arms are aching from carrying this camera. Whose idea was it to do a night routine? It's really weird because I like a strong brew but I like it milky. Does anybody get me with that? Time to be real. I'm gonna be real right now. My b has gone crazy. It's still showing people from 14 hours ago. Either I got a late, late email notification or it's gone crazy. Nah. I've seen them pics before. Anyway, it's getting warm in here now. I've closed everything. Whew. I'm getting a bit hot and bothered. I'm not really. I'm just sweet a bit hot. Anyways, let's get the milk in. And when I say I like it milky, you're going to experience it now. I don't actually know if you can see the cup, but if you can, because I've got this little like muffle mic thing on there to stop the wind when we're outside. And not like I ever use the camera outside. I used to though, don't anymore. But yeah, we're just gonna pour some milk in. Yeah. Why is my fridge making a weird sound? Anyway. So now we're gonna take that into the bedroom. Actually, I need to stir it first. Now we're gonna take it into the bedroom, cause, yeah. I, 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 ever, whenever I pick up a camera to film, I go crazy. Can you hear the fridge? I said that and then it stopped. Every time I speak, it starts, and every time I stop, it stops. All right, then. Anyway, let's go into the bedroom. You're not gonna be in the cupboard from now on. I'm gonna come back in here and get my phone and turn the lights off and everything. Ooh, that's one of them brews that's really good. That you can only ever make every so often. And you can never make it again for like another three, few years. <laughs> Over exaggeration there. Why am I on blurred? Wake up. Anyway, I've got this little thing here that I made my dad put up for me because um, my room's a bit of an odd shape. So like, I have like my like cut, like drawer unit there and then my bed but then I've got my wardrobes like here so there's no way I can put like a bedside cabinet there so I've, I basically just made my dad put a shelf on a bit like that so that nothing falls off if I hit it at the night time but then I've got somewhere to put my brew and my phone when it's charging so it's right near me anyway I'm gonna get my phone because I left it in here I'm gonna turn off the lights you're kind of getting a bit of a flat tour here, which I wouldn't do. Oh, hello. Can you see me? See me? See me out? Yeah. Um, which I probably won't do because some guy thought he was looking at me, but he won't. Um, yeah, you're never probably going to see because I'm, I'm still not done with it and I've nearly lived here two years. I was going to see me vlogging. I'm not even vlogging, this is a main channel video. I don't think he needs his headlights on at this time of the day. Well, you would normally, but I'm saying that and then I go and put the be bedroom light on. 
Wait, did I close my curtain in my balcony door? I can't remember because I was too busy talking to you guys. Let's have a look. Yes, I did. I definitely did. Anyways, now I'm gonna get sorted for bed. So we're gonna put you here. And I'm just gonna get this bed sorted, this situation out. And yes, I do just flow, throw all these on the floor. I'm also just gonna get changed off camera into my pajamas. It's shorts, but I've got my head cut off. It's shorts, but for today. But then obviously, my the shorts that I'm wearing currently don't fit me properly because we're going. Well, actually, we're probably already gone by the time you watch this. Been and gone. We're going um, on a little trip, and I don't want to use my good shorts because I need them. I'm going in a few days, so yeah. <laughs> So I've just been wearing ones that I don't like, so when it gets a bit cooler in the evening, I just shove these fluffy pyjama bottoms on. Um, but I do get a bit warm, and I get a bit warm now, so we're going to get my pyjamas on, <laughs> basically. And just like that, I have my pyjamas on. Um, I'm going to brush my hair through so it always gets knotty during the day. Sorry if you can hear people talking outside, but I have my window open. Anyway, yeah, my hair's gone longer, basically. And the last time I had it, like, long like this was a few years ago. Quite a few years ago, actually. Um, it's got to that stage where it just gets tangled now on a daily basis, which is a bit annoying, but I want my hair longer, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. But, yeah, so just like that. I am ready for bed. Oh wait, I need to take my necklace off. Because I get paranoid that I'm going to strangle myself in sleep if I accidentally leave it on, so I always have to take it off. A little bit of a paranoia. But yeah. And now, I'm just going to get in the bed and chill and watch TikTok for a bit. Until about 10, half 10, 11. Because like I say, I'm not in... I've not got work. So... I say 10, that's like 15 minutes, so it'll probably be more likely half 10, 11, to be honest. It's weird going to bed when it's light, so weird. Anyway, I'm just going to show on TikTok for a bit, um, and drink my brew, and then probably go to bed. Okay, now that I've chilled in bed and watched TikTok for a bit, um, and drank my brew, we're going to go brush my teeth. Well, we're going to brush the teeth. I normally use my electric toothbrush, but I forgot to put it on charge. So instead, so I have to use my backup. But yeah, now I'm going to the toilet and I'm not going to film that because that's just weird. So yeah, see you in a minute. Oh, it's boiling in that bathroom. So now I'm ready to get into bed and go to bed now. So thank you for watching. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much for watching my nighttime routine and I hope you enjoyed. If you like these kind of videos, let me know because it's the first time we're doing it. I tried to film a morning routine and it kind of failed. So yeah, hopefully this turns out okay. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.